we have the governor of the colony, uh, Arthur Phillip, uh, meeting uh, a large group of Eora Aborigines on the beach at Manly Cove. The Aborigines had gathered to eat a whale, so it's a, it's a big whale feast. They'd given the piece of the whale to Philip, and that was Philip's excuse for being there. But that wasn't why Philip was there. Philip was there because he wanted one of the Aborigines who'd been kidnapped by his people early on to come back. Benelong was important because he was a senior man, and the English trying to bring him in. To, um, to develop a relationship with him to understand more about Aboriginal people and motivations and ideas, but also where people were. Philip had to arrive at some sort of accommodation with the local Aborigines. But apart from anything else, he uh, didn't have the numbers to impose. There are a thousand Europeans and uh, tens of thousands of Aborigines in the area. These are a particular group of Aborigines who, who, who are known to be somewhat warlike, or by, by the British anyway. And Benelong speaking with the Aborigines as well as uh, presumably eating the whale. But Philip seemed more interested in, in talking to the Aborigines. In the midst of all of this, uh, Philip approached one of the other Aborigines there, uh, who picked up his spear and speared Philip. And we have a picture here of Philip standing there with a spear in his shoulder and a musket being fired, the Aborigines all running off into the bush and Philip gallantly going back to his boat. We know that some of the Aborigines stood their ground, and we know that Philip had several more people with him than we see in the painting. This was done for a British audience, this painting, so it, it makes Philip look a bit more, uh, a bit more gallant than perhaps he was. Once you get into the story of the painting, you realise that there are unanswered questions. We need Poirot to tell us what's going on. There's an arrival and there's a series of actions, but what we can't really tell is what the motives were. If they wanted to kill him, they would have threw the heart through the head. It's obviously a wound that's not intended to kill. It's intended to maim. It's really the basic thing that happens with payback in Aboriginal communities, which is to wound and then to have that wound heal. That's actually a very uh, recognisable Aboriginal response to being kidnapped, to having something terrible happen to you. Payback is what happens. What was really interesting about it is that Philip's not particularly uh, negative about it. It doesn't, it doesn't stop the ongoing relationship, for instance, with Benelong and with the Aboriginal people. The paintings of this incident, in reflecting the complexity of the encounter, showing that it's both about accommodation and resistance, the Aborigines are still there, the Europeans are still there, the environment is still there. It encapsulates the whole encounter uh, between uh, European Australians and Aboriginal Australians uh, over the past 200 or so years. Even though the person who painted this may not have understood it at the time, it talks about a moment of power for Aboriginal people. So it tells an Aboriginal story as well.